Someone got shot, what'd you do? I have a crank style Victrola records from like 1920s, 30s. It still works surprisingly. Was my grandparents. <laughs> Hey, that guy was all right. Did you hear all that shit that guy had to say, dude? Hey, man, you're all right, dude. Yeah, I've never been into records. In fact, you know what, dude? At a very early age, basically at the point of around DVDs. Like around that, but early DVDs. So, like, we're talking 14, 15 year, year old. So, what was that? 98. 1999 around there early ish dvd era uh i realized that this is all a fucking scam and i didn't do it i didn't get a mini disc player i didn't get hd dvds i didn't get blu-rays i was like i'm done because after vhs and then dvd and then i saw what happened with nintendo and then super nintendo and then they started making discs and then the GDs, those motherfuckers at Sega had the fucking nerve to create GDs and say that they were unpiratable. The, after that, I was like, all right, dude, I'm not no more collecting or buying any of this shit, dude. I stopped buying anything like that. I just waited for digital and I knew it was hap going to happen. Except games. I bought real games I gave up on that like a few years ago buying real games GD yeah you don't know what a GD is look it up bitch it's the type of games that the Sega Dreamcast had the absolute most pirated console you could just buy a Dreamcast no mod chip no nothing you could buy it from the store and it would play burned copied games with no mod from the factory so the idea of anti-piracy was literally non-existent it was existent on consoles before it the playstation one the the uh sega cd and the sega saturn all came out before the dreamcast and they all had anti-pirating shit the dreamcast was literally the sickest console ever all you had to do was buy the console and you had every game on it it was awesome and it had four ports in the front of the console so you didn't need a multi-tap to play multiplayer with all your friends and it had a little memory card screen inside the controller which it allowed for some new gaming experiences that had never been experienced before that <clears throat> for example if you were into playing football games prior to that on screen you would have to choose between one of three plays because you didn't have the ability to privately select what play you're gonna do but because of that little screen on your controller a football game would let you privately select your strategy and then run the play with your friends on split screen so it was really revolutionary and you could pirate games for free it was awesome oh my god dude hey groovy on. 